Hey, it's uh, Dave here. I wanted to record a video because I haven't recorded one for a little while. Um, hey, hair's longer. It's all good. So what I wanted to do is I'm, uh, I'm recording a slightly different video. So instead of doing something on the Kronos, uh, what I wanted to do was kind of something a little bit more hardware based. So um, I'm a big fan of more recent technology and the Kurzweil, while it's old as hell, um, it has some really great sounds and I'm really comfortable programming it. So it's one of those things that, you know, if I wanted to take something from here and program it there, uh, I could do that just by kind of doing AB and pressing something on the, the Kurzweil and then programming it in the Kronos and, you know, getting my sounds from here and kind of going like that. So that's the idea. But to do that, um, I don't have a SCSI CD drive anymore. I don't have a SCSI zip drive. I have a regular zip drive. And uh, so I bought something that I installed in the K2600 a while ago, and it's called um, SD to SCSI. And it's inside the Kurzweil, and I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. But I also bought this thing, which is really cool, is, whoops, this guy. And this guy takes an SD card, it's like an SD card reader, and it's a ribbon cable, and it plugs into a micro SD card slot right here. And so this will plug into the SD to, it's, a, it's technically micro SD to SCSI, plugs into the SD to SCSI, so it'll plug in there, somewhere in here, and I'll show you that once I open it. And then this thing can either hang out here, or maybe it'll hang out the back, I haven't decided yet, we'll see how long the cable is and where things fit. And the whole idea is that I can throw an SD card in and it'll register as a SCSI drive inside the K2600, which makes it really easy for me to take a sound from my computer, which is hiding down here. Ignore the garbage I've just moved, so everything's a disaster. Um, it takes it from the computer, put it into there, and then it loads as a SD card, um, a SCSI hard drive, actually, on the Kurzweil. So it makes things a little bit easier for moving sounds around. Because at least with this guy, uh, the the Kronos, I can throw a USB card in and it takes it right away, so there's no problem there. Where this guy is just a little bit older, and uh, but I still love it, so I want to keep it. And uh, so I'm going to show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, so I got it apart. Um, this is great. So let me show you kind of what I've got going on here, um, now that it's all taken apart. So you've got like... I guess this is called the daughter board. Hang on, let me see if I can focus, because, uh, there we go. So we've got the daughter board. This is your motherboard. Um, this is your, I guess it's your IO sound card thing. I don't know. I, I'm saying words, I'm not quite sure. I could tell you this is a capacitor or something for your power, yeah. Anyway, so this, this little do flicky is the uh, micro, it's SD to, SD to SCSI, or micro SD to SCSI, however you want to see it. And you'll see this cable actually plugs right into the motherboard. Uh, I guess the motherboard's underneath. So this could be the daughter board. Anyway, so it plugs into the motherboard. This is a 50 pin SCSI cable. And as far as I know, it terminates itself. So you don't need to mess with any of the termination stuff. It's got your Molex um, power supply. And I purposely put this plastic bag around it just to make sure that it doesn't touch anything else. Um, it is loose in here. Some people strap it down or they'll put a screw in somewhere. I'm not that fancy. So what I'm gonna do was I'm gonna cut a little hole here in the plastic bag and I'm gonna take, uh, where did it go? I had it here somewhere. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna take that ribbon cable and I'm gonna plug it in here and then I'm gonna try and decide whether I want it to come out here so it comes out the back or maybe through the floppy drive port here and uh, so it'll be out this way, maybe even maybe even just right here, so it's like sitting there. So it doesn't inter it doesn't interfere with the floppy drive. I can just kind of keep it separate. Anyway, I'll um, find the cable. I'll cut the hole here, and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens afterwards and see if it works. All right. So here's what I ended up what I ended up doing was um, this cable wasn't quite long enough, so I cut the hole in the bag. Uh, as you can see here, so I cut the hole in the bag. I used the ribbon cable and went straight out the back. It wasn't long enough to reach here, which is my original idea. And I suppose I probably could find a way to take this thing, maybe move it over here and, and, and bracket it in somehow. I mean, I see a, a screw holder here. So I might be able to do something like that, but honestly, 
I'm totally fine with this hanging out the back because I've already got the USB cable and this USB cable actually plugs into this system and allow you to update the firmware. So um, I'm okay with the USB cable being where it is as well as the uh, ribbon cable for the SD card to be coming out the back as well. So I'm totally fine with that. Um, I'm going to semi-close it up and by semi-close it up I mean I'm just going to close the cover and I've got an adapter for this guy so this is my 4 gig card I've got an adapter that'll turn that into SD and I'm gonna plug that into the SD reader and it should already be formatted I think it's FAT16 because uh, FAT32 would allow you to have 2 gig partitions or larger than 2 gig partitions and the Kurzweil currently doesn't so I'm going to uh, put that and the adapter, put the adapter in there. I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna see if it works. So you'll see that in just a minute. All right, so here I've got my, um, let's see if I can focus this real quick. There we go. So I've got my micro SD card, my SD card adapter. I've got the thingy that's plugged in inside here and I've got this to go to the computer. So I wanna make sure that it works first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and place it in here, brilliant. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this in here because I've got a file, an old uh, Kurzweil 2500 file that I made a long time ago for the song As I Am with uh, Dream Theater. And so that looks like it's it. So I'm gonna pull this As I Am over, make sure it writes to it. Oh, and it looks like it's there already, so that's brilliant. Let's close that. Take this. We're going to take this and just put it here. And take this out. I'm going to plug this bad boy in here. Oops. This is hard to do one-handed. Ah, don't be that way. Uh, despite my best efforts, it is continuing to be that way. So let me... Hang on a second. I know you're looking at black. I'm sorry. One of these days I'll invest in a stand. Okay, so this is plugged in. Well, let's get this out of the way. And now we're going to make sure this works. So, there's walls booting up. And I know I need to replace the battery. That's okay. It'll tell me there's a voltage warning here. Yeah, that's, that's okay. I have to fix that. Okay, so let's go into disk mode. And it looks like, see I've got two partitions, one and two. So let me see if I can hit load here. Oh, didn't like it. Okay, so hang on. Helps if I click it. Uh, let's try it again. Aha, there we go. So here's as I am, that's the sound that I made. So I'm gonna load that. And we'll load it into the 400 and we'll overwrite it because uh, I don't care what's there right now. I just had a couple of test things there. So as I am, it's loading the samples and everything. All right, and let's go to 400. Oy, it's hard to see here, there we go. So, go into setup mode and 400. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> okay. I actually forget kind of how the song goes, but... Anyway, so it seems to be working, which is great. Um, and so when I click like this, and I go to uh, disk mode, here we go. You can see, uh, if I try and load anything, it just pro it says problem mounting disk. So when I plug this in, and uh, I go back to disk mode, and I go load, then it loads. So that's awesome. So yeah, a quick video. Um, now I have to put my Kurzweil back together because I still got the end caps off, they're sitting on the floor. So I'm gonna put all the screws in and put this all back together now that it looks like it's working. But if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.